Hi guys, this is China Stop Review and I'll be doing my first watch review. I figured um, I could do some more uh, with the channel and I have a lot of different watches. They're all made in China so I figured I could do some watch reviews. So today I'll be starting with the G-Shock um, Para collaboration. It's the DW 5600BR and um, well this is the box it has the, the para font on it I'll give it a spin and this is the watch inside, I've worn the watch already so uh, that's why the it's out of the foil and everything already but um, this is it in the box, it's time to party Baba is a Dutch uh, underground designer and he uses uh, three or four colors in all his uh, designs so, uh, Therefore, these are the colors of the watch. Here, here's the watch. As you can see, it's uh, 7 past 2. It's blue, pink, red and orange. Which are the colors um, he always uses in, um, in his designs. If we have a closer look at the screen, you can see let me focus here. All right. You can see the para logo, and if I press here, here, that light will come on. And let me find a button. And you can hardly see it. So I'll film that again, but in a bit darker place. Um, this is a limited edition, uh, limited edition watch. I didn't have that hard of a time trying to track this this one down. Apparently, it's not that popular. Um, maybe it's because of the color scheme, uh, which I personally like a lot. It's it's different, and that's why this makes this watch pretty cool. Um, I'll open the strappy up. So you can see the back. The back has a para logo and a CE check logo on, which is on every watch. Um, yeah, well, what can I say? It's it's, a, it's just a regular 5600 PR, uh, 5600 watch. This is the PR Baga version, of course. But um, that that's only the color, really. Um, I'll show you guys the uh, the backlight. In. All right, here we are. And this is the illuminator. It has one of those. Uh, I'll do it again. Typical Baga birds in the background, which I think is pretty cool. This is a close up of the display and um, the only thing that I think that they could have done a bit more on the design of the watch is the display. It's just a generic grey or whatever colour it is, you know, LCD colour background. Um, they could have inverted it, for example, to make the, the letter silver and the background black or something. I think it's just a bit a bit boring. You have the the nice the nice flashy colors at the, on the outset and then you have this gray LCD color background which is, you know, they could have done a bit more there. Alright, the Para G-Shock. Um, it retails for around 129 euros or 155 dollars or 100 pounds. Um, I think it's a really cool watch. If you wear this in the summer with a white t-shirt or even better with a uh, t-shirt designed by Para, the colors in your your shirt will come out, you know, more because you're wearing a watch with the same colors. I think it's a it's a cool watch. It, it's different. Um, maybe it's not to everyone's taste, but um, I'm uh, I'm happy I, uh, I, f I found this watch. The box I wasn't too surprised with. Um, it's not that cool of a box. The um, the GW series, the GW 110s have cooler metal cans. This is just a well, cardboard box basically, but um, you know, I don't know. I'm not that impressed with the box, but the watch is pretty nice. Alright, this was China Sub Review. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you at the next review. Bye.